Hi everybody, this is Lars Vemir, and welcome to Nuke Quick Tips, Volume 2. Today's episode is about the Genius W Hotbox from Wote Gilsing, which is by far my favorite tool in Nukipedia that you can download for free if you have an account on Nukipedia. This is the link to it, which you can also find in the description of this video. A while ago, I made a video review about the W Hotbox on Nukipedia's Vimeo channel, in which I gave a general overview of the tool. In this video, I want to share my personal W Hotbox setup and show you how easy it is to create your custom buttons that can help you to speed up your compositing workflow. The only quick tip of this video is that you should use the W Hotbox if you are working with Nuke on a day to day basis. If you are a compositor and you're not using it or you've never heard of it, you should download it right away and start using it. Almost everything in Nuke is controlled with or connected with the Python programming language that creates part of the user interface, nodes, gizmos, tools, and much more. The W hotbox lets you trigger Python commands, which makes it a Swiss army knife for Nuke. The buttons are divided in four categories, single, multiple, all, and rules. Any button that is added to the all section is selection independent and will therefore always show up no matter what nodes you might have selected. These buttons appear at the bottom of the hotbox. The other three categories are context-based and only show up for a specific selection. For single, that context is one specific node class. This is the most common way to add buttons, and I will show you how to add a button to this category later in this video. Multiple allows you to set up a button that only appears when your selection contains a specific combination of node classes. The rules category is a recent addition to the hotbox, and it lets the user write his own conditions. That condition is written in Python and can be anything. You can make it so that a button only appears when your selection contains a node with a specific knob, when a node has a certain color, or when a node name starts with a specific character. It can be class-based, like other categories, or you could add crazy rules like buttons that only show up at a specific time of the day. So here is a look at my current personal setup for the hotbox. And I'm saying current, because I keep changing it almost every week whenever I find a new useful command for it. I mostly use it for tasks like creating my favorite nodes as a substitute for the tab menu, setting my project frame range with a built-in command, changing my blending modes on merge or channel merge nodes, revealing my footage in the file explorer with another built-in command, and much more. Now the built-in commands I talked about are actually not built in from the start because you have to load a setup file that comes with the download of the hotbox, which has the file extension .hotbox. In that file, all of your commands and buttons are stored. Here is the link to my personal setup, which you can download from Nukipedia and import into your hotbox. You can also find this link in the description of this video. In the last part of this video, I want to show you two examples of how you can add your own buttons to the hotbox. First, Let's change the appearance of a backdrop node by adding some code to its label knob. This code will add a little icon to the backdrop. So let's open up the hotbox manager, go to the single mode, create a new entry, and rename it to backdrop node, which is the exact name of the node I want to modify. Now let's create a new button for it and call it footage. Copy a piece of Python code from the merge node. Paste it into this field, which will change the value of a knob. Change the knob name to the knob we want to modify, which is the label knob. And paste our snippet of code into this field, which will insert this line into the backdrop's label field. So now that we have set up this new selection specific button, we can select a backdrop, call the hotbox, and click on our new custom footage button that will add this icon to our backdrop. The second button I want to show you will create a node. So let's say we would like to create a ZD focus node. Since I've already added a lot of node creating buttons to my setup, we can just duplicate a button and modify it to our needs. So in the hotbox manager, in the all mode, let's duplicate the erode button 
which you will also have if you download and import my setup. Rename it to ZD Focus, where it says Erode. And you always have to make sure to give it the exact name of the node you want to create. Now let's move it up to the Erode node, because they share the same color. And we're done. Now you can use the hotbox to create a ZD Focus or any other node, gizmo or toolset that you want. Your gizmos can be created just like nodes with the hotbox. But only if they're loaded in and you can also call them with the tab menu. And this is the line of code that you can use to call a toolset with the hotbox. As you can see, it's really easy to add a command to the hotbox by looking at existing buttons, taking some Python code from them and making it work for whatever you need. And of course it's better if you already know a bit of Python. But this tool should give you enough motivation to learn more Python for Nuke so you can automate repetitive tasks and save a lot of time. Alright, that's it for this episode of Nuke Quick Tips. I hope you liked it. Again, this is Lars Vemir. Thanks for watching and goodbye everybody.